Hey guys, it's Running Kimono, and uh, we have a whole lot of stuff going on to here today. We have Walmart right here, we have Walgreens right here, and we have Rite Aid right here. Um, so the first store we're going to talk about today is um, Walgreens. I picked up two of these cans of the Campbell's Well Yes Soup. Uh, they are three dollars for two. I used two seventy-five cent internet printables from the Campbell site. I paid $1.50 out of pocket and I bought as giving back $2 rebate when you buy two of the cans. So it makes it free plus a 50 cent money maker. Um, my store for whatever reason was handing out this little plastic cup so I just grabbed one of them. I just thought eh, I could probably use it for something. Another thing I wanted to talk about, um, since about Thursday I've noticed that if you use two light coupons, not internet printables but paper coupons or peelies or whatever, the first one will scan, the second one will not. My store will not key them in either. Some sort of new rules there. So I'm just throwing this out to you guys. Um, is anybody else since last week been having issues with using more than one light coupon? And there is nothing in the verbiage saying, you know, one coupon per transaction or anything like that for this. So if you guys could let me know in the comments, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, the fact that my store will not um, key in light coupons that is a problem um so i might just have to take my business to a different pharmacy or you know focus on a different store because i need them to key it in because uh, chances are coupons will not scan over at walgreens so hopefully they figure their stuff out sooner than later it is kind of disappointing but um you know i think things are just changing um, over at Walgreens um, and of course the consumers are the last ones to ever find out about it. So that's it for that little rant. Um, the next store we're going to talk about here is Walmart and it was perfect. I picked up two of these little uh, 12 packs of Toffee Fae found in that candy section, uh, you know where they have the chips and all those wonderful things. These guys were a buck 97 each so two of them was a price point of three dollars and 94 cents. I used two 50 centers found in this weekend's Smart Source. I paid $2.94 out of pocket. I bought as giving back a dollar for each of them. It makes it $0.94 cents for two or $0.47 cents per box of Toffee Fate. And these are super yummy. Yum, yummy. Um, and then I picked up this, uh, the Glade car, car Starter Kit, and then two of the little refills. Well, the coupons that I used were from the Smart Source of two weeks ago. It was a $2 off the Starter Kit and a buy one, get one free on the little inserts. Um, so here it is. Uh, the kit was $4.88 and the little um, throw-in inserts are $2.88 each for a price point of $10.64. I used that BOGO free coupon and the $2. I paid $5.76 out of pocket. Currently checkout 51 is giving you back $2 for the starter kit and then a dollar when you buy two of the, um, the refills. And then there's the exact same rebates on um, Saving Star. So that's $6 altogether. If you have the same email address to both accounts, you'll either get one or the other. So you have to go into your settings and change that if you want the double rebates. So anyhow, after both the $6 of rebates, it's free plus a 24 cent money maker. So very happy to finally do this deal over at Walmart. Okay, the last store we have is Rite Aid. And the store that I visited today, um, kind of sad. They're actually closing it. Um, so there's going to be one closure in Michigan and it happens to be this little store and it has nothing to do with the merger between Walgreens and Rite Aid. It has to do with some um, something about the building. Uh, so who knows? But I'm really sad about it because the employees of the store were really nice. So the first item that I got that was a complete freebie is four of these Yardley soaps. I did this over two cards. So my card and my husband's card. These guys were um, a buck 69 each and it's on a buy one, get one free, pay for one free, pay for one free. Um, so I only had to pay for two of them, although I grabbed four. So that's a price point of 338. Pay that out of pocket and then you get back $4 in bonus cash, making it free plus a 62 cent money maker. <clears throat> I picked up two of these um, GE Bright Sticks and they were $7.99. I had a $5 off load coupon. Um, $2.99 out of pocket, get back $3 in bonus cash, making it free. Um, very happy about that. And now I grabbed another set of them to do on my husband's card, and it did not come off as the um, sale price. It was just $15.99. So I actually just returned the second set. And um, what's interesting here is um, the cashier gave me like 
the whole $15.99 back. Even though a $5 load came off, I got the full amount, which is really weird. So I got like $16 in return, um, which is kind of strange. This came out of the Catalina machine. It's another 30% off on March the 2nd and 3rd, so later this weekend. And then the last thing I got was six of these Suave deodorants, and it's still part of a monthly deal. With my gold discount, guys, they were $1.83 each, so I grabbed six of them for a price point of $10.98. I surrendered two of these coupons. I found these guys specifically at Walmart, and I got the cashier to scan this before I scan my store card. So it subtracted the full amount of $2.29, um, not the gold discount price. So I paid $6.40 out of pocket after subtracting these two coupons. And then I got back $6 of bonus cash. For each two, I got two bucks. So it made it 40 cents for six deodorants. And I couldn't do this deal um, last week. I only did it on one store card. So I did it on my second one. So I'm still happy about that though. So that's it guys. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments and I will see you in the next one.